Tiger. 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 If your first name is Tiger, there's a pretty good chance you've got a personality to match the name. Tiger Woods. Perhaps one of the greatest golfers to ever play the game, but has some personal problems. And who can forget the Tiger King, the Netflix documentary series that got us all through the first wave of the pandemic. And Tiger Williams, Canadian NHL player who retired in 1988 and still to this day holds the career record for the most penalty minutes. And if you're from around the Godrich area, you have probably heard of Tiger Dunlop, a man who surveyed the tract that is now Highway 8 from Guelph to Godrich, alongside John Galt. And I think he must have been a pretty charismatic dude to make such a lasting impression on history. Imagine with me for a moment a man standing at six foot three with flaming red hair and always cracking jokes. One day, while traveling through the brush of southern Ontario with a logging chain wrapped around his shoulders, he happens to stumble upon an old friend, an old buddy from Scotland. And they laughed and joked around, but when they parted ways, Tiger said to tell their friends back home in Scotland that he had been found in chains, but well and happy. Between his own books and what others wrote about him, especially in the Dictionary of Canadian Biography, I think someone could probably create another Netflix documentary series based around Tiger Dunlop. So, if you're new here, I should probably explain myself. This is day three of our week-long hike for Huron Hospice, where each day we hike a different local trail, promote different local business, and talk about some local history. And I'm asking you to support our hike Boom. with a pledge through Canada Helps. Yeah, buddy. And the land that we now call Huron County was once the home of the Attawandaron, the Huron, the Chippewa, and the Ojibwe people. And it's important to acknowledge that. Today, we are starting our hike on the Manesatong Bridge, which is the very end of the G to G Trail, the Godrich to Guelph Rail Trail. We'll talk about the G to G Trail in a couple days, but this section of the trail is maintained by the Maitland Trail Association. And this is the Manesatung Bridge, once for trains, but now for pedestrians, thanks to an upswell of community support that saved it from demolition. Just another example of the kind of project that our community is capable of building if we all come together around a cause. And the Maitland Trail Association has created this book with maps and details about their network of trails. And fueling our journey today was some cream puffs from Culbert's, a bakery so rich in history that the name is almost synonymous with Godrich. Founded in 1877, they are still making their world-renowned cream puffs to this day. After the kids were all fueled up, we headed on the Sifto Loop of the trail, so named for the Sifto Salt Mine, which is the largest salt mine in the world. And if you keep hiking up the Manesatung Trail, up the gradual slope, you will come to a lookout point and look back on the town of Godrich. Keep going up the hill a wee bit more and you will find the final resting place of Tiger Dunlop. Tiger has an impressive view from this spot and it all exists thanks to the work he accomplished during his lifetime. Well, that wraps up day three of our hike for Huron Hospice. Thank you everyone who has donated and has gotten me this far. We are almost at our goal. Thank you to the Farmer's Dell. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Janet, for your donation. Thank you, Nancy, Jacqueline. Thank you, Barb and Ross. Thank you very much for your donation. And also a special shout out to David Yates, I have found this book so helpful, so informative, so witty. So thank you for the local history, David Yates. And I am so thankful to have our community support to make this happen. The hike goes until May 30th. Stay tuned for more.